I'm gonna go through why this year I chose to carry the Walther PPQ 45. Wyoming, our great state, is an open carry state, so I can put this on my belt, carry anywhere. The reason that it is a good pistol for from the trailhead all the way up for bear defense, but also all the way back home as a carry conceal option because you're not going to necessarily always want to have multiple pistols with you. One for carry conceal and then one for, you know, for that trail gun that you would be comfortable in defending yourself in all situations, not just a bear situation, but all situations. Two-legged threats, they do exist. You never know who you're going to meet out there. Down to just about freezing. Putting two targets up so I have plenty of opportunity because, let's just be honest, shooting a pistol is fun. I have some ammunition to burn and try out. Let's do this. I grew up with a father who was law enforcement, so we spent a lot of time shooting pistols, shooting a variety of weapons that were a lot of fun. AR-15 is a familiar gun to me. I've also had the privilege of shooting an M14, um, which a lot of people don't get to do. And so that is very cool experience that um, that taught me things that, that, I were, that are invaluable when it comes to self-defense. So let's take a little time and we're gonna start off with the Hornady Critical Duty. Another reason that I chose this pistol in particular in the 45 auto as you can see that I have plenty of ammunition so one of the things that many people don't like to talk about everyone likes to act tough but most of us are never in stressful enough situations to understand what it's like to shoot under stress under duress that's why it is incredibly important to practice with any pistol that you plan on using for concealed carry um, because an emergency situation requires preparedness. If you're shooting a pistol for the first time, the first time that you're in a self-defense situation, I can almost promise you, that's enough right there, uh, I can almost promise you that you will not hit your target. So you always want to be prepared in the sense that you need to practice Practice with the ammunition that you're intending to use. In a concealed carry situation, you wanna practice in a situation where you're gonna move a little bit. Um, I would highly advise anyone who is planning to do carry concealed, who wants to have a gun with them on their way to a hunt, um, even on the hunt, that maybe spend some time with an NRA certified instructor um, beyond just your um, your certification for a concealed carry permit and make sure you check your state regulations for concealed carry. But spending some time, learn your weapon. I'm gonna shoot at the bottom target and we're gonna spend a little time practicing. I'll probably put the whole magazine through. I'm not gonna do rapid fire. I'm going to make sure that I am learning this pistol. I've spent time with this pistol. I've shot it quite a bit before, but I wanna go through the importance of knowing it and then making sure that I understand so I could use it in a self-defense situation. So first thing that I noticed about this pistol is that it's very easy to do with the slide. So you can see that it's very easy to grip. So you saw that I pulled it out. I was able to pull that back. Um, then the next piece is drop the magazine out really easily, clear the chamber, grab the shell, make sure you don't lose that. So anytime I'm talking, you wanna make sure that you don't have one in the chamber. So just a basic gun safety piece. You will see that the safety is incorporated into the trigger. So it's very easy pull. I'm gonna fire a couple more rounds. I can see that I was kind of all over the place, was a little bit nervous as I was shooting again for the first time. So we're gonna do it again, and I'm gonna work on getting it into center mass on the target, always working to improve, but I'm very happy with the recoil on this ammunition. I'm very happy with how this gun responds. When you practice, you always wanna start from holster because that's where you're going to start from the field. I prefer to have to put one into the chamber. I don't like walking around with one in the chamber. Um, I know a lot of people actually do. That's not my preference um, for the simple reason of safety. I don't 
you know, sitting on a horse, you never know what could bump. Um, even sitting in a vehicle, you hit a really big bump and this thing's sitting next to your center console. Um, I, I actually had this next to my center console quite a bit this year while I was out hunting and I don't want something to go off. I just, I'm just not doing that. That's not the way that I'm gonna do gun safety. So always, um, always practice the way that you'd have the situation happen. So next three rounds, going down range. Next piece of this equation is I am going to shoot a few rounds with my Hornady Critical Defense. The reason that I would use this, this would be much more of a conceal carry or an open carry type situation because this doesn't have quite the hit that this Hornady Critical Duty has. So where I'm not concerned about, you know, large critters that might be coming into camp, this would be what I would use um, carrying around. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll have two magazines, one with one e each, so that's real easy to swap out and change. So spend some time with this ammunition. Next up, a few more rounds down range. So one of the reasons that you want to spend time with any firearm that you use, and in particular today, I'm using the Walther PPQ 45. One of the reasons you want to spend time with it and the ammunition that you intend to use in the field is because I just found out that this Hornady critical defense is what this pistol likes and what I like. So this gun fits my hand well. Um, it, you know, fits well in the palm, wraps around really easily. And so, and it's also very easy to drop the magazine out, very easy for the slide to pull back. I can see the chamber indicator where I can tell whether there's one in the chamber or not. See red, you're dead. You know that there's one in the chamber. The trigger, is a very easy natural pull which means that the ergonomics on this are good you have a handle that you can adjust pull it out make it a little bit bigger if you need some more space in here inside um, to make it fit your hand better that's critical being able to adjust for your hand for your feel i am also very happy with the sights you can see very easily down the sight line safety trigger all great features that work really well in shooting this Hornady critical defense. I have now practiced with ammunition that I know I shoot better, the gun likes. So that's just something to note where I need to spend more time with the Hornady critical duty if I wanna get the same accuracy that I get with the Hornady critical defense. So I'll make sure I leave specs for both the gun and the ammunition here so you guys can see what I was shooting today. So that's gonna wrap up my session for today with the Walther PPQ 45. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notifications every single time we have a video that comes out. Also make sure if you haven't found our waterfowl wing shooting channel, make sure you find Wingman on YouTube as well. And thanks again and we'll see you next time here on YouTube.